Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This is my review from the Trammy Rovers vs Exeter game on the 20th of March 2021. Massive game for Trammy Rovers against Exeter. Exeter are in 8th, Trammy are in 4th. And Trammy Rovers won today 2-1. We grinded out a result. We played decent, we played average played all right but the main thing is we got the three points and i'm absolutely buzzing what a win we are now so close to third now we are really close and if we went on tuesday against colchester and full screen get a draw or um a defeat we go third and it's getting really good now because we could be going up the next season but I'm not going to say anything else about that, but yeah, the way we were playing, we were okay. We scored two goals today, and and they were okay. Obviously, there were penalties, two penalties that we we got. But yeah, so to talk about the team today, uh, Scotty Davis was in goal. Otis Connor is our right back. George Ray, Peter Clark, Cal McDonald, Jay Swearin, Leo Connor, Leon Feeney, Kane Woolery. David Nugent and Kieran Morris. The bench was Joe Murphy, Manny Montfrey, Liam Rydell, Paul Lewis, Naya Kirby, Ali Crawford and Danny Lloyd. So, going into the game, it was a bit of a scrappy game in the first half and it was a bit in the second half, but going through the game, Trammy Rovers did have chances and uh, so did Exeter. They both created, it was like a bit of pinball, obviously, Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. But it was an okay game, obviously, in the first half. So, Tremmy Rovers get a penalty in the 18th minute. David Nugent scores the penalty, places it in the middle, um, right in the middle of the pit, in the goal, and he scores. Great penalty. And personally, I, w I was nervous because I've never seen him take a penalty before, obviously, since he was... Playing for the likes of Leicester and that. But great penalty to get us 1-0 up. And then Tramia, they fall asleep. Obviously, Otis Khan lost his man. And then I think, I'm not too sure who scored for them. I think it was Randall that scored for them. And it was a good goal. Literally, Scotty Davis. I didn't get why he's coming out so far away from the goal line. And then he, he just places it. It was a great goal for them. And and it's 1-1. And then, to be honest, it was a tight and tough game. Both teams looked like they wanted to win the game. But nothing really happened. So going into the second half, um, it was a bit of a cagey game. And then um, not much really happened, obviously. Uh, Exeter having chances, um, Manny Montfey coming on because um, George Ray got injured. Obviously, he fell over the thing, which is in the cow sheds in the away end. But hopefully, George Ray's all right. Obviously, I think he's got a little concussion. So hopefully, he'll be back for the next game against Colchester on Tuesday. So hopefully, best wishes. And then, yeah. And then, Tram Rovers get a penalty in the last... 25 minutes of the game. I think it was 25 minutes or 20 minutes. And then who who's going to take the penalty? Obviously, with Nugent going off the pitch. Obviously, bringing Dan Lloyd on. And Dan Lloyd's penalty was a beautiful penalty. Definitely a penalty in my eyes. And then, yeah, he placed it to the left-hand side of the, uh, of the goal. And, and the keeper went the other way. And Tramio over 2-1 up. It was... A scrappy game. It was scrappy near the end. Obviously, them getting free kicks. The referee was diabolical. To be honest, just just balking random players in the game when they done nothing is a joke. But yeah, we made it hard for ourselves. But the main thing is we got three points. Obviously, I don't care if Tremmy plays shit and they win the game. I'm happy because it's three points. And that is massive. We are now fourth, and we could get in the top in the um, top three on Tuesday. So, obviously, 
we're going to take it one game at a time, which is Colchester on Tuesday. And I will be doing my preview for that maybe tomorrow and bring it out. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I thought the Tramia players played well and we made it hard for them to try and get a goal back in the last 20 minutes of the game. Obviously, when Tramia scored, Jake Priest came on near the end and so did Liam Rydal. And yeah, but main thing is we got the win. I'm happy and we just got to move on now to the next game. And that's going to be a massive game. So hopefully we can win that. But yeah, we've got Mansfield on Saturday at home. That will be another tough game. So every, all the games are coming thick and thin now. Very quick. Obviously with 11 games to go, I think. And we've got... I think we've got two games in hand still. So that's a good thing over on Cambridge. So we could be we could be second in no time. Obviously we could be in second in uh, on Saturday, depending on the results. So yeah. It's a happy camp for Tramy Rovers, obviously getting the win, obviously them getting the draw on Wednesday against Grimsby, which was an awful game it was we we didn't really look we didn't really look good in the game but yeah we grinded out a 2 on win and that that's what's the best thing about it we won the game and we we played okay so my man of the match would be I'm gonna say Dan Lloyd because he scored that penalty and I thought he came when he came on I thought he done really well so yeah so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to new show for next time. I will see you guys in a bit and I will be doing my preview tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Up the lights, come on you boys. And let's try and go up to next season. No, let's go and try and get promoted. So help me.